Project Search. Hello, it's Danny. Can you see me? Well, you probably can't. You see, this is what I would look like if I had taken the day off and not uh, come in to do my work. Of course, there's no good reason for me to have taken the day off. I feel fine. I don't have any kind of vacation plan. But if I had said to myself, I think I'll just watch Netflix instead and just binge watch some program I've been interested in. And, you know, I guess I could have done that. However, I'm glad I didn't because I only have so many days that I can take in a given year for my time off, whether it's sick time or uh, time to take a vacation or anything else. So I didn't want to waste any of my vacation time for no good reason. Also, I wanted to make sure that I provided some material for the interns to watch. Uh, if I hadn't, I don't know what you guys would have been able to watch. And uh, I don't know what we would have talked about at the next meeting. But anyway, I am here. I feel like I made the right decision. Uh, today, I'm going to provide a presentation that will go into issues around attendance at work and how it relates to keeping your job. Project Search UTMC Remote Learning, How to Keep a Job, Part 4, The Importance of Good Attendance. One way to make sure you remain successful at work is to show up every day, unless you have and medical emergency, a death in the family, or you're taking approved time off that you requested in advance. This is one of the simplest things to do, and it makes a huge difference to your supervisor and coworkers. So whether that time off that you've requested is for, say, a nice vacation, or a fun day doing something you like, or if it's for a medical appointment, you still will need to request to have that time off in advance. Having great attendance at work will win you respect from your coworkers and your supervisors. All right, I'm gonna tell you about Boris. Boris didn't like going to work on Fridays. Every Friday, the supervisor at the department store where he worked would instruct the employees to do a deep clean throughout the store. Boris thought cleaning was boring one Friday morning, he decided to stay home to avoid the cleaning routine. He called his supervisor to ask to use a sick day because he wasn't feeling good. The supervisor allowed Boris to take the day off. Boris returned to the store for his next shift, which was on Monday. He worked through the week and performed his task well. But once again, on Friday morning, he started thinking about all the cleaning he would have to do at work. He started thinking about calling his supervisor and asking to take sick leave again. He still had two more days of sick leave left until the end of the year. Let's think about Boris. Should Boris try to stay out of work again? What consequences could there be for Boris if he takes a second Friday off in a row? And what would you do if you were in Boris's position? Let's weigh the pros and cons for Boris if he takes a sick day for a second Friday in a row. So we have pros and cons for Boris taking another sick day. On the pro side, we have, well, he won't have to clean the store. But on the con side, his coworkers will have to work harder. Let's continue weighing the pros and cons here. Uh-oh, here's another con less sick time left for if or when he's actually sick. Oh boy. Less money on his next paycheck. Hmm. And he might have points taken off of his performance evaluation. Well, you get the idea. So keeping Boris's pros and cons in mind, 
Decide whether the workers in the following stories should or should not take time off work. Don't forget to have your pen or pencil and paper at hand and put your thinking cap on. Story one. Cecil's brother invited Cecil to go on a trip to Scotland with him. Cecil has always been interested in going there. Ancestors of his lived in Scotland in the 18th century. The trip will begin in four months. If Cecil goes on the trip, he will miss five days of work. He currently has 10 days of vacation time available. His employer requires at least one month's notice for vacation requests of more than two consecutive days. All right, here's the question. Will Cecil be able to go on the trip without violating his employer's time off policy? So go ahead and pause the video and take a look at Cecil's story and then consider this question. Try to put it all together and decide whether yes, he can take the trip without violating his employer's time off or no, if he tries to take the trip, he would violate the time off policy. Story number two. Fiona was getting ready for work on Thursday morning when she got a call from her friend, Helen. I've got two tickets to Dollywood, Helen said, and one of them is for you. Fiona was thrilled. She had always wanted to go to Dollywood. Helen told Fiona she would pick Fiona up in an hour. Fiona told Helen she had to go to work that day. Helen told her to ditch work and go to Dollywood instead. Fiona was torn. She wanted to have fun with her friend, but at the office where she works, she is supposed to give at least two weeks notice when she wants to use vacation time. All right, and the question is, if you were Fiona, would you go to work or to Dollywood? So pause the video while you answer. So here are some things to think about around attendance. What might happen if you don't abide by your employer's attendance or time off policies? There may be times when you would prefer to skip work to do something fun instead. What is the correct way to take time off? What would happen if you used up all your sick time so you could do fun things instead of going to work and then you really got sick? Be ready to discuss these questions during the next class meeting. We're gonna get into these questions. I will find out what your answers were to those questions with those stories with Cecil and Fiona. And hopefully we will together be able to learn a lot of things about how important your good attendance is in keeping your job. I really believe I made the right decision to do my work today and not take a day off for no really good reason. If I had done that, I might regret it later. What if I got sick and needed to use the time, but I didn't have it? Hmm. Well, we'll talk about that and several other things having to do with your attendance at work when we meet. So I'll see you then. Goodbye.